that. I, I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. I mean, a lot of players think, tend to add some pounds when the season's going on. Uh, right. how, how's, how's that weight going, and what are you weighing uh, right now? I'm keeping it steady. It's, um, it's like 262, the 265 range. Got to keep it steady. That's where you want it at? Yeah, I want to get a little lower, like 255, so I can move a little faster. It, it, some of the stuff you've, you've endured, is it kind of gratifying to see it all come together on the field? It took a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you. It took me a lot to get where I'm at now. I just want to thank God, but yeah, I'm happy where I'm at now. Doing better. So. Dawson had a message for you since he's going to be out in the first half Saturday night, and I mean you're obviously going to be the first option to tight end the first, first half. half. Yeah, hey, one person down, they look for somebody to fill the shoes. Like just doing one play at a time. Try my best not to mess up. Don't want to dredge up the dark times, but yeah. what were the hardest things to overcome for you? What were the low points for you? Oh, man, just being 290. Yeah. Almost getting moved to offensive lineman. Yeah. That was the crazy part. Yeah, I had to lose 30 pounds. How'd you do it? Coming up here early before meetings, before workouts. Stick with it. How early? Like an hour early. Yeah. Then still doing on the workout that was still required. It was hard. Hey. Football going well for you. Does that make everything in your life just that much better? Oh, it made good. My class were going good. Yeah, everything better. Sounds like you didn't want to play tackle. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm already down there in them trenches with the tight ends. How close did it come to that having to happen? Five pounds. Five pounds? Five pounds away. Does maybe having that, that experience kind of help you at the tight end position? Oh, it do. Yeah, it keep you aggressive. Because you got to be aggressive and tight end, especially on line. Yeah, it keep you aggressive. So who gave you that limit? Who told you that 295 or 300 or whatever? Oh, uh, my trainers. Yeah, they used to always pick with me a lot. Like, yeah, keep eating them Debbie cakes and pizza. <laughs> You're going to be 290. And it happened fast, too. I had to work hard to get it off of me. Well, let's talk about the last eight days of the season. You guys have got to play twice in that period of time. And yes, then this, this year is going to all be over with. What's it like inside the locker room? How are you guys staying focused? How are you picking uh, each other up? Yeah, we got to just keep the seniors' heads up because I know the last couple of games ain't been like we wanted it to go. But, yeah, we got to keep the seniors' heads up, let them go out with a bang. I've just seen myself, I was a senior, what I want people, how, how I want people to play too. So You've got another year left after this season. What about setting the uh, the platform for you guys to launch from over the next couple of weeks? Oh, just play hard. Just show everybody I tight end room. We got a standard. We all we got a standard to stick to, and then I'm gonna play that standard. Coaches have talked about your blocking a decent bit, but how have your hands and ball skills progressed over the last year or so? I've been I haven't had hands a long, long time. It just that weight kept me from getting separation that I wanted, but now it all falls in place. Looking back at Arkansas, I know it was last year you had that fumble, but then to come back this year with that huge catch and touchdown, what, what was that like for you, kind of maybe a confidence booster, kind of <sighs> very poetic that it, you know. It's just like I've been hearing about that weight all year. That fumble been sticking with me all year. I've been hearing people talk about it. What you going to do in Arkansas game? What you going to do? Like, I had to do something. And my, ch my ch chance came and I had to make a play. Were you a bigger part of the game plan against a than maybe you have been a couple of Weeks prior, it seems like they got you involved quite a bit. Yeah, I was a big part of what I was last couple games. Yeah. What did it mean to you to be able to make the catches you did? It felt good. I felt my, just had my team gave me a chance to make plays. I know my Dawson got it. Yeah. yeah, you know what happened. But yeah, I had got my chance to make a play and I made a play. You a okay. cold weather guy? Oh, no, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> From your perspective, just as a guy who's plays the same position as Dawson. What do you think about that play? What do you think about that rule of what happened to Dawson? Oh, man. It, was, it looked good to me. Yeah. That's what everybody's saying. It looked bad, but it looked good to me. Like I could say, it's always, you might not know what, what might happen. Yeah. Just be ready to fill the shoes. How much, out of play. how much time do you guys have to spend talking about what's a legal hit? Is that something that you focus on? I don't really yourself? talk that much about that. Uh, but we know what's legal, what's not legal. But it looked pretty legal to me. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.